going on it's your boy red cup life we live we're here we in the building so we have something special for you guys today if you haven't already make sure to smash that subscribe button as it helps the channel grow uh yeah so let's get into it so uh yo he's a real fan favorite gareth bale the welshman uh south uh southampton prodigy came up in the youth academies uh made his way through to the first team and he's been lighting up tottenham and then he just went over to real madrid and just like I don't know. I don't know. So, uh, but we're going to find out today. We're definitely going to find out today. So, with no further ado, let's jump right into it. just done a training session. You walked in here like a man with a spring in his step. Would that be a fair observation? Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to be back. I, um, yeah. I'm sure they're happy to have you back. Heart. I've had great memories here and, uh, yeah, know a lot of people at the club. So, yeah, it's great to come back, see familiar faces and, um, yeah, just have that, that buzz back. You've only been here. Tottenham currently sitting. Have you really felt yourself? Your the sixth? Lifted? Yeah, definitely. I feel very league. comfortable straight away. I feel like I've just kind of come in. It feels like I've known everyone for ages. Um, but yeah, I feel feel very happy, very confident. My energy level seems to have gone up. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, excited to get started. Especially with the Why new here? management. Why now? Why this Jose one? Mourinho? Um, I think it was time for a change. I wanted a change... Well, for a little while, but obviously it hadn't been able to materialise. But um, yeah, this club means so much to me. It's given me my opportunity. There's been some amazing memories here in the past, and um, I felt like it was a good time to come back. I feel like the club's still going in a great direction, and um, with the new stadium, obviously the training ground was here just as I left. But um, yeah, the club's going in a great direction, and I want to be a part of it again. Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. You said you always felt loved here. You had great times here. You had great memories as a player, and, and the fans idolised you. And you've seen from your return, they still do. But in some ways, has that added a layer of pressure on you because of the esteem you're already held in by them? I, I don't think it's any more pressure. I can't really get much more pressure on my shoulders. Every game <laughs> I play, everybody has the eagle eye on me so um it's true you no know. matter where i play there's going to be pressure so that's that's nothing new but and madrid um, always always I anything wanna come, you yeah, i want to enjoy my football i want to want to play football i want to yeah do as best i can for this club and you stopped you enjoying football um yeah to a certain extent in in madrid it was yeah a bit flat for a while um hmm. which i think everyone can see from the outside so you, you can tell when players are not happy they're not when you're not happy, it's difficult to play at your at your highest level. So, um, for a yeah, I wanted to change for a little while, and, and hard, now man. I'm able to get it. I feel energized again. Feel happy, hard to and go through. Um, that always leads to good performances from me normally. So, you had an extraordinary haul of silverware in your time at Madrid. You said there were highs, and there were lows. What was the highest high, and what was the lowest low? Um, yeah, I think winning, winning the Champions, Champions League. Champions League. <laughs> <time. laughs> yeah. Right. I think the first one's always special. I think even the in the last one when I scored that goal was twenty thirteen. An amazing high. Um, Champions obviously League. Obviously, the lows have come in 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 any type of football. I think every footballer will tell you there's always highs and lows. Twenty eighteen so, um, Champions League yeah, final. The lows are normally the ones that you learn the most about yourself and and you show your characters come back from. So um, yeah, mm. but. No, I'm, I'm just concentrating now on being here at Tottenham and uh, just concentrating on, on this season. Also the 2015-2016 league title as well. True to Champions yourself. League. You're not somebody who seeks the limelight. You don't court attention, do you, by your own admission. Yet you moved to an extraordinary club for a world record fee hmm. at the time where I think it's fair to say the scrutiny, the scrutiny every club, but unlike any other in the world, what was that like for you, given your personality? Um, yeah, it was, it was a different experience, a different... Um, it was different from what I'm used to. Um, there's no denying that. But, uh, yeah, it was one of those that you just had to kind of yeah, take on the shoulders. As you say, I'm, I'm very quiet. I try to keep myself just as normal as I can, keep myself away from the cameras, the media and, and stuff. Hmm. And maybe that's what they didn't like over there. You go for a big fee, they, they expect these Galacticos to do everything and it's true you know. yeah by me being me and not wanting to do those things that's maybe why they they didn't uh didn't like to me yeah, so well, much but like um, a real humble nah, guy you know it's a part and part i knew what i was getting it myself like in a real for and um genuine yeah it's uh, it is what it is and uh, 
I'm happy what I achieved there, but as I said yeah. now, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to the future and, and being here at Tottenham. I was interested in what you said just there, what you learnt about yourself. What did you learn? Um, you just grow up. I think you're obviously going into a different culture, a different country. I've had to grow up as, as a person, never mind a footballer. And um, yeah, you just learn how to, to deal with the situations that you're in. Obviously, I've been in immense pressure situations. I've had yeah, people for about seven um, years on the now. pitch whistling in the stadium to me. So yeah, I've, I've just learned how to, to deal with those type of things to kind of, yeah, not take it too seriously, take it too much to heart and yeah, just get on with it. It's, it's football something that you love doing and you just need to, to give your best and sometimes that's all you can do. Any regrets whatsoever about anything you did or said during <laughs> your time there? No, I don't have any regrets. No. It's been we a can't lot. imagine what it's like from the outside to live your life like that. Hmm. What's it like? Uh, um, yeah, it's just part and part of it. I think you just get on with it. I think as a youngster growing up, you just want to play football. You don't think about everything that comes with it. So, um, yeah, for me... Yeah, I just just try and try and play football. That's all I can do, and everything else that's said externally is is out of my control. So, um, as I said, I have no regrets of what I've done. Whatever anyone else has said, that's up to them. I ha I know my opinion of myself, and and my family know exactly what I am. So, uh, yeah, that's all I'm worried about. Keep in mind, eh? You said you have evolved as a player. What do you mean by that? 171 um, appearances. I'm not the 20-year-old that sprints 90 yards down the touchline every two seconds. Um, at Real Madrid. I think when you get older, you that's not bad. You realise that you have to manage yourself a little bit more. Um, you pick the right moments to go rather than every single time when you have a bundle of energy when you're young. So, um, and you learn the game more. I think you don't have to keep running when there's no one in the box. You come out, keep possession. Just different types of things about your game that. Maybe in the past, too, when you're younger, you just want to impress. You want to go 100% all the time. And mm. yeah, when you get older, you have that experience to, yeah. to manage yourself and manage the game and, and manage the situations that you're in. Obviously, you can play in a variety of positions. You've proven that before in your career. But he is a striker. What do you feel is your strongest position, if I'm not mistaken? Um, anywhere across the front, to be honest. Yeah, I'm comfortable on the right, where I've been playing probably most of my career now. Oh, okay. um, I suppose behind the striker, where I've played a lot. I've played on the left a lot. Um, I can do a job up front, but um, he's left yeah, footed if I'm not I'm the most of my career now I've been playing as as a right winger cutting in or going down the line. So um yeah. Anywhere across the front three normally I'm I'm very comfortable. Of course, at Tottenham you started out here as a left back. I see you brought your mate with you from Madrid. Was that to just rule it out? <laughs> <laughs> he could take the number three off the table for me. So um <laughs> no, he's a great player. Um obviously last year he did great at, at Sevilla and um yeah, he's an exciting talent, so uh Hopefully you can hit the ground running, show what you can do, and um, yeah, a great addition to the squad. Do you think the Premier League has changed since you last played in it? Yeah, I think so. I I don't watch too much football at home, but um, yeah, I always always kept an eye on Tottenham's results Maybe you whenever should, I like. left, and used to watch as many of their games as I could. So um, yeah, but obviously speaking to to the players, even on the national team, that the league now it's it's more demanding than ever. I think maybe when I was here maybe 10 years ago you'd have a few other teams that would come up that were didn't have much money they couldn't spend a lot of money and were a little bit weaker as where I think these days every team you see Leeds coming up now spending a lot of money telling you the teams that have just come up spending Facts. a lot of money on good players so uh yeah from top to bottom Facts. now it's, it's very competitive the Premier League is the most competitive league tell me I'm wrong league is considered the best league comment the section below tell me I'm wrong every team could be every team have you set targets for yourself? From the Welshman's mouth I know you haven't kicked a ball yet, <laughs> but in your mind, you know, in terms of whether it be goals, is it free kicks? What's your, what's your ambition for you personally? Um, I, never, I never give my goals out. Um, obviously, yeah, I've thought about it. I've spoken with, with my team that I have around me at home, um, what we want to achieve. So, um, yeah, they're obviously for me to, to keep in my mind and to try and achieve. And if I could do that, I'll, I'll have a great season. What are you looking forward to the most? Um, just playing. I think putting that Spurs shirt on again. And obviously it's, it's disappointing that the fans aren't going to be there at the stadium um, for, for my first game back because I feel like the reception would have been incredible. But um, no, just looking forward to, to playing football, to playing, playing with the team, doing well as I can, helping the team and uh, having a great season. 128 career First goals. time round, what was your best for a senior career a as a footballer? Um, it's quite a few good moments. Um, I don't know. It's, there's so many. I was there for such a long time. I think 
think in my last season, I think obviously I had my best individual season. Um, but even the moments when we qualify for the Champions League Champions for, for League, the yeah. first time was special for the club. Was kind of that moment where we took it to the next, the club to the next level. Even playing into Milan, um, doing well in our first year in the Champions League, and then, yeah, obviously, as I said, the personal awards here was was great for me individually. But um, yeah, I had a great time. He had a great relationship with everyone at the club, and um, so many good times. But uh, hopefully, we can make some more now in the future. Given your stature, goals. Do, you, do you feel almost for his country? Not, not a, a, it's a collective responsibility. But now is the time to drive this club on to Darn get back to those levels. Wales um, under seventeen. Do you feel it personally? Yeah, of course. You, when you come into any club, you want to do well. You want to you want to help the team as much as you can. And um, yeah, we have we have a great team here now. Have a great squad. They've been doing great. Obviously, the time that I've gone away, they've they've gone on and on, and and obviously reached the Champions League final. The club's got a new stadium. The the club itself is better, doing better in the Premier League every year. So um, yeah, I just want to add to that. Want to mm. try and bring a bit more to to the team. Can Tottenham and, win yeah, Champions League? Us even more and keep pushing in the right direction. Now I want to show you. Can Tottenham win Champions um, League? Often I'm sure people say, know. you know, when people, when Spurs fans speak to you in the street, they talk about your this best is. moments. Which ones do they normally mention? I don't off know. Top of your head. What are his best moments? Normally I think it's going to be that. <laughs> yes, yeah. my God. That, wing, <laughs> that run down the wing. <laughs> the West Ham goal, I guess. A couple against Arsenal. Let's see which one. Do you is. remember this particular? Incident? I bet you I know which one he's got. This is from the Monday Night Football. Let me see. I played against Gareth Bale um, many moons ago now at, at Southampton Ooh, and he yeah. was playing left back and I was playing right back oh, I think I know and it was a big spread about. in the paper Richards versus Bale and let, 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 let's, let's say I got, I got the better of him <laughs> yeah, I probably <laughs> ate him for lunch <laughs> literally forward a few seasons he goes to Spurs and subconsciously I'm thinking it's only Gareth Bale I can, I can deal with him I've had him at Southampton, Southampton. And it was a massive, massive mistake. He destroyed me. <laughs> At, if it weren't for Joe Hart in that game, I remember it. First game of the season, it was nil-nil. White Hart Lane. Pace getting and past you. Pace, Lane, power, hey. fitness, hey. everything. I'd, I always thought as a, as a defender, his face, hit him hard early doors and they won't come back. But he kept coming back <laughs> and coming back and coming back. And if they get Spurs now, get any, even 70% of that Gareth Bale, mm. they'll be a great team. Have you still got that in your locker, as, as he said there? If Spurs can still get a glimpse of that, have you still got that in question. your locker? Yeah, I believe so. Um, I wouldn't be here question. otherwise. Um, I still believe I have a lot to offer, I think. Yeah, well, obviously time will tell and I'm going to be working as hard as I can to, to produce that. And um, yeah, I still believe I can do it. And yeah, it's just, uh, I guess it's time for me to show it. And yeah, I'm looking forward to doing that. Lastly, Although it ended a certain way, how proud do you feel, given your trophy haul, you are constantly argued as probably Britain's greatest successful footballer, hmm. the most successful, given what you've won in your time abroad? Um, I guess so. I don't really think about it, if I'm being honest. It's not, it's not okay, well now I'll put it to you. Titles, right? given it, you think of all the previous... There's very few that can match up to you. That must be a source of immense pride. Yeah, no, it is for sure. But um, it's not something that I'm looking at now, if you get what I mean. I'm someone who more is thinking about the now and the future rather than the past, I guess. When I finish, back, then sure. you can look back and, and see what's happened. But, um, yeah, I know what I've won. I know what I've achieved. I know how I've played. But my career is still going on, and I don't want to go to the past too much because the past is the past the future is, is what's most important at the moment so mm -hmm. yeah that's kind of my mindset tell them well, it's great tell to have you back and we we'll wish you all the best thank you very wish much wish you all the best well Bale can't wait to see ya can't wait to see ya well ladies and gentlemen let me know what you think it's your boy Red Cup Life Gareth Bale you know what to do smash that subscribe button as it helps the channel grow and we'll see you again soon in the next one your boy Red Cup Life we in we out